Hey guys, Game Boy 3800 here once again, and today, recycling bin. Um, which is actually actually quite fitting because I am recycling in, well, everything that's in here. Um, I went back to the flea market, saw my buddy, and got some more computers. This time I checked to make sure they're all complete, throughout the ones that weren't. So, first off, Apple clamshell. Um, he did include the power adapter for this. That's not it. It had Mac OS 9 on it. Uh, working good. No idea of the specs. All I know is it worked fine. There's actually going to be a, a guy here soon to deliver firewood, so I apologize for any noise in the background. And I guess while we wait for this to load up, we look at something else. Here we have a 100% complete um, Fosha laptop. I made sure to get 100% complete everything. And by the looks of it, it's a um, Sager Clevo D4F laptop. And if I look at the bottom, it'll we'll probably have product code D4F. No, NP3100S. I still, I still think that's a pretty good uh, deal there. No hard drive, but it does have a connector and caddy for one. So if this boots up well, it will be a pretty good resell because performance built laptops like this one often go for a lot of money. And it's complete too. It's got a full fledged firewire port there, which you don't see very often on laptops. Two USBs. Floppy drive. PCM KA, nothing on the front, and then uh, I would presume DVD ROM drive. Let's see if there's a design for a sticker. No, all the stickers are gone. But we have the Mac up and running. So, there's a browse the internet option. I don't know if there's wireless or anything on here. The hard drive is hilarious. Hilariously named Ass. Let's see if we can rename that. The mouse is a little bit glitchy. Erase disk, sleep shut down, restart. Alright, it had Word for Mac 98 on it. I might presume a CD ROM drive. Nothing's in it. I don't know if the battery holds any kind of charge, so let's, let's shut it down. That's right. The older Mac OS, you need to hold down the button. Now while that shuts down, we'll look at the next thing. IBM ThinkPad. It's very similar to the one I had before, actually. Um, I-Series. It's, well, type 2611. I actually have a few, a few different kinds of this model. This is a particular one with the um, phone line instead of the landline. It's got a single USB port on the back here. Docking parts covered up, that's nice. Power adapter there. Case is coming apart a little bit, but it's complete. I did the power, I heard a little click, so 
think the battery actually has some kind of charge in it. Still, kind of. Now this is a mostly parted out uh, HP Compact model CM2080. Missing the. Um, it does have a battery. It's just still out. Um, I presume CD-ROM drive. Does it need its own caddy? Nah, standard. Standard uh, hard drive thing. It's got this weird residue all over it. Um, only thing it's given me is Pentium 3 Compact Pro Serial 1700. No RAM. Of AC adapter for IBM. Uh, it's for one of those mini IBM desktops. I didn't even realize this was in here until the last second. Uh, I don't have a thing to uh, test it right now. Let's see if the Mac was a charge. No charge. Okay. Well, it came with the power adapter, so that's good. Let's get this wire out of the way here. Up next on my list is a Compact Armada. I've had a few of these before. Here's the battery. CMOS battery, it looks like. No hard drive or CD-ROM drive. It's got your keyboard, looks like it's got the little thump, nub here. Pentium 3 and designed for Windows 98. Compact or Modder, does it say? No, not really, but it's designed for um, and Windows 98 second edition. Next is one of the laptops I got confirmed working. Another one. This is a Sony Vio PCG NVR23. Winer's name. Um, this is one of the more well, really thick laptops I have. And even though it has these little lifters to begin with here, so it has these little feet to help lift it up. Um, it's got Windows XP Pro. I'm not sure what service pack. Um, AMD 1.5 gigahertz. One single core CPU. Hinge is actually a little bit loose. But it works good. And the battery is actually low on power. I don't want to power it up. But one of the unique things I found about this is that it comes out and you can have, along with the floppy drive, you can have a, a blank bay to help lighten it up. You can have a subwoofer, a keypad, and this. So I might actually get all those and then sell them all together to maximize the value. This had 512 megabytes of RAM, which isn't very much, but yeah. Um, it ran pretty good. Couldn't have a very great battery life though. Here you have some things that open up, like the LAN phone, video output, and firewire. And this thing is a little bit hard to open up. So I'm going to show that I'm going to use my miniature screwdriver. And here you have your serial printer and VGA output. Three USB ports and the power. DVD drive, floppy. Here we have a gateway. Gateway. So I'm not sure which one, if it, even if it is a seller actually. Pentium 3. No hard drive. No CD-ROM, but it does not have any floppy disk. I thought it did. A little bit dusty. Yeah, built for Windows 2000 Professional. It might handle XP pretty good. Um, is this a battery? I 
think of that? Use your battery. Good job there. I just made sure they had complete keyboard and everything. Okay, here we have another IBM of a different kind. There's some. One that I've had before. ThinkPad. Not sure which one it's actually got a little bit of a damaged hinge down here. I should point it down more. There we go. A rubber thing covering this one. Is there anything underneath it? Can't tell. There probably is though. S video output, S video input, maybe. Nope, blank cover. Wires. Back in it goes. No CD ROM drive. Two PCMCA cards. Fan ventilation. Printer. LAN port. Phone line. Serial VGA. One USB. PS2 mouse. And then power. Over here you have your audio stuff. Where the hard drive would go and the floppy drive. Um, two of these actually. This is a less complete model, I believe. Miss missing the DVD drive. The Super Tecra 8200 with a kind of a loose hinge, not bad. And it's got a PCMCA card in it. K wind modem. That's some kind of a. Uh, that's just a fan. I thought it was a expansion card. On off switches right here. Volume stuff here. Batteries underneath. Everything's complete. I made sure to get computers that were 100% complete. Have your output here, phone line and LAN port. Alright, here we have a notebook computer. Um, it's pretty much the same kind of thing as the FOSA computer. Um, except this is a model 3300C. Missing the hinge covers, but that's all it's missing. It's a very heavy unit, which leads me to believe that there's a hard drive and everything in it. Sometimes these performance computers have everything under the battery. Let's see if this is one of the cases. There's just the battery goes there. Floppy disk sketch drive goes here. Ah, I see. This is the same kind of thing where the caddy just pops out. Um, it does have spots for a hard drive, but there is no hard drive in it. I don't know what this whole thing is. Overall, it's a pretty good unit. It's just missing the hinges, hinge covers. Fan doesn't seem to be very spinny though. That could be a problem. Here is the second Toshiba uh, Tecra. This is the 8100. Better hinge. And this is the more complete model. Pretty much everything's the same. There's just this one has a CD ROM drive. Docking ports here. Power. Yes. This here is a compact for serial. 
and I'm not sure if I meant to get this. <sighs> Let's see. DVD ROM, floppy, volume up down here. I assume these are the speakers. More ventilation, probably for that one fan in the back. Batteries here. It doesn't have a cover though. These, that's for the PCMCIA cards. Yeah, nothing on the bottom. But, hinge is pretty much shot. Uh, I would assume Pentium 3 or Centrino. I think it is Pentium 3, but it's just not showing me. Well, I didn't get this computer for much, so I'm not going to really complain. I'm sure the hinges wouldn't cost that much to fix or just immediately resell it. much dust and stuff out of the fan ventilation as possible. This is another compact armada. Again, missing its little hard drive, but this is the M700 armada. Worn a Pentium 3 sticker. Again, it looks like it's got a battery. It's got the CD-ROM drive. Yep, CD-ROM. And I was expecting there to be a floppy on this since it's kind of old. But no, no floppy. We're on our last stretch. Last IBM, I think. Yeah. Oh, this is the only one that I missed out on the Parted, parted Out series. Um, IBM ThinkPad. Model. Well... Code 25, no, 2656. And no RAM, battery, CRAM. Very dusty in there. And the last one, which is shockingly another compact armada. has a DVD ROM and C and C drive. Cleaner fan here. And it's another M seven hundred, Pentium three. And that's it's the laptop. So there's a few accessories in here too. Um 4 gigabyte hard drive, nothing special. A random power brick, I would assume it's actually enough to... Uh, nope, not a chance. It's just, it's just an AC adapter that powers nothing. We have two Lenskis 2.4 gigahertz. Um, one's an 802.11b, one's an 802.11g. This one's a little damaged. And it goes back together okay. This one no damage. Here's one of the batteries for one of the Amadas. I was missing a battery. Got a random wire. Then we have a few memory covers. So, yep, that's pretty much it. Um, I will be testing each and every one of these computers to make sure they power up, except for that for the two that are most damaged on the broken hinge and the parted out one.
But yeah, hundred dollars for all those. That includes their working ones, their the Mac, the Vile, and all the old ones that were in here. So yeah, until then, uh, thanks, Game Boy Out. I hope you enjoyed.